welcome back to my little channel now I know I did say I wouldn't make COVID videos anymore because I had enough of the propaganda and I didn't want to continuously push back on the propaganda now don't get me wrong I'm not saying COVID isn't real I know there are people out there that seem to think that COVID isn't real that's not me COVID is real Though what I'm saying, even though COVID may be real, the propaganda coming from our governments, plural, not just in the USA, not just in Europe, is absolutely bullshit. I mean, we're all scared because people die from COVID, right? Oh, COVID's such a terrible thing. Oh, no, it's the worst. It's the worst. But um, there is this measurement they use with infectious diseases to calculate how dangerous it is it's called the infection fatality rate or ifr and according to the cdc and don't get me wrong because the ifr in the beginning of this whole nonsensical covid thing oh man people thought it would be as high as five six percent oh, 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 oh but um the world health organization has estimated the IFR to be at 0.6% and the CDC in the United States says yeah no you know what it might be closer to 0.2% okay now don't get me wrong that means that still 0.2% of the people that are infected and get sick die so does that mean that no one dies from COVID? No, no, people die. Yeah, yeah, right. It's a real thing. It's a real thing, people. But how many people die for a flu pandemic? Well, that depends really, doesn't it? I mean, usually the flu stays under 1%, but it has been higher than 0.6. I have to admit there are different flu strains and some of them are lower than 0.6 but uh, I mean I've seen strains going for 0.1 but N1H1 which dropped around a few years ago that one had a fatality rate of I think it was on and about 1% I could be wrong obviously because I can't find the numbers because if I start googling for IFR rating flu all I get is COVID because somehow that's all there is in the world how dare you think of anything else so yeah people die from COVID but the IFR rating of COVID IFR sorry is lower than that of certain flu pandemics okay so that's one of the things that are important. Now, to give you a better idea, I also wanted to find the R0 value of COVID-19. Basically, that is the value of transmission. So how, ma how many people get infected from one person? Unfortunately, it is impossible to find that number. The only number I found is the original one, which stated 2 to 6. So every one sick person will infect two to six new people but if anything reality has shown us that number is incorrect because if it were correct then the whole world by now would have been infected and this is not the case social distancing notwithstanding i mean people seem to forget that they once said in the uk anyway that even with social distancing two million people would die worldwide we haven't reached that number yet let alone in the uk hmm? thing is is covid a nasty bug yes people it is i know I, i've had it i've been quite sick and i'm still blessed with being tired as a result from me recovering from covid is it deadly yeah 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 no people die from it mm -hmm. Is it a reason to shut down our society? Hell no. We've had flu seasons that were worse than this COVID one. And I'm not pretending that this COVID one isn't real because it is. I'm merely stating that it's not the worst we have seen. But somehow 
we all have to believe and agree that a lockdown is necessary. I'm sorry people, for those of you who agree with me, thank you, I'm looking forward to your comments. For those of you who disagree with me, I'm sorry, I'm looking forward to your comments. The thing is, there's too much information out there that isn't being shared. For example, that death rate of 0.26 or 0.2 comes from the American CDC. Yet, in America, the idea is still that if you have COVID, you die. And that can't be correct. Now, it's still a bitch if you're in that 1% or a fifth of 1%, fair enough. People still die. Yes, that's an issue. But we don't all die. And people still die from a lot of other things as well, including the flu, though every flu victim this year has been counted as a COVID death. Anyway, criticism as always is more than welcome. I look forward to your contribution to this all and uh, I hope to see you all next time.